Hello! Today I am going to be recreating fall winter 2022 Pinterest outfits. I originally got this idea from Lainey Ozark. I'm mostly using it as a tool to reimagine pieces in my closet and maybe style them in a way that I wouldn't have thought of without this Pinterest inspiration. I'm also trying to get a little creative this year because in the past I feel like I would get stuck in this cycle of looking at Pinterest for inspiration, but then feeling like I couldn't actually put together any outfits because I didn't have the exact pieces that they were wearing. So in today's video, I don't have any of the pieces they're wearing. I'm just looking at the pictures for inspo and then going to my closet and kind of getting creative and doing basically my take on the outfit. Without further ado, let's do the first outfit. Honestly, I haven't planned any of this. I just saved a bunch of outfits on Pinterest, which I do anyway. I'm just gonna go through, pick some out that I think are like attainable to recreate and then go to my closet and see what I can do. So outfit number one, we have red gingham pants, a brown coat, a scarf, and it looks like cowboy boots. I just recently thrifted some gingham pants that are not red. I think I can work with this. I'm gonna go to my closet and come back in an outfit that resembles this, I think. I'm kind of excited for this, to be honest. Okay, this is outfit number one. Like I said, it's not gonna be the same as the picture, but I'll walk you through the thought process. So obviously I reached for the gingham pants because I think what stood out to me in that photo is the color, but also the pattern. So I think if you were to pair all of this with just a solid pant, it would still look good, but this just makes it a little more fun and funky. Obviously what you're seeing in the Pinterest outfit is like a styled photo shoot. So it's gonna naturally look better than whatever you put together just because there's like a team of people making it look a certain way. So keep that in mind. But also I noticed that in the photo, her jacket is buttoned or zipped up, I can't remember, but you can't see what's underneath. So to make it more practical, I obviously put a shirt on under, but for like an outfit in itself, I think this is cute. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, I think I would change the shoes. So, PRB. So I put on the brown boot, and then I also remember that I have this leather jacket that was my dad's. I'm gonna try that one on instead of this one and see if that changes anything. Ooh, here is the second way you could style this, I guess. I don't know which one I like better. I feel like I'll know when I'm editing. I really like this and I would never think to put it together on my own. Fine. It's kind of funky. Let's, let's see it without the scarf though. I mean, I think I still like it without the scarf. Let's do outfit number two. Okay, moving on to outfit number two. Brown pants, a white button up, and then a sweater over it with the button up kind of peeking out of the bottom. I guess I'll just take creative liberties with the shoes and decide what I think looks best with it. Here's outfit number two. I am a little bit unsure about this one just because the sweater is so bulky and also the white button up is pretty oversized. So I think in an ideal world, I would have maybe a more flowy sweater that's maybe a little thinner because this one is quite thick but it also like clings. You can envision that the fit is good. <laughs> I think that this outfit is really cute. I love how it's kind of monochromatic. Obviously the Pinterest outfit isn't. She's doing more of a cream paired with a brown but I don't have a cream sweater that I'm aware of. Yeah overall I think I just feel kind of bulky in this. Trial and error right? I honestly thought this one would be like one of the easier ones to do but clearly not. This needs to be stained. Um, and the sleeves need to be rolled, but I think I might wear it just like this with the coat over instead of a sweater, even though it's kind of giving business casual. I don't love this outfit. It's not like mind blowing, obviously, very simple, but I could see myself wearing this if I don't feel like thinking too much about an outfit. Okay, I think I'm gonna do this outfit for outfit number three. I know it's like also the outfit with a combination of the background and like all of her accessories, the fact that she has an umbrella and like a beret, but yeah, I like this outfit. I think it shows what an accessory can do for you. Let's try to recreate this into something fun. 
Outfit number three. This is so cute. I didn't try to match the jeans because I don't really have any jeans that I love or even like for that matter. But I do think jeans would be cute with this, but I kind of love the monochromatic look. So that's what I did here. I just kept on the brown pants and I'm wearing these white boots right now, but I would probably change into a black boot to match the little print of this beret. I think this is so cute at least in the picture i think what makes it like a trendy pinterest outfit is the fact that the coat is pretty oversized she has the color in the beret and in her bag which i don't have but obviously could easily do pretty easy outfit to recreate if you ask me like i just feel like ready for fall in this for some reason like, i think sometimes bulky can be cute and i think it's cute in this case if it's really cold, here's another thing I would do. I would also throw on these cute-ass mittens. And even though it's a little clashy, it's like they're far enough away from each other where it doesn't really matter. It's just so cute! Holding a little cup of hot cocoa. I almost said hot joe. Cosplaying cold weather. Let's move on. This is actually giving me really good ideas. Let's switch things up because I've kind of been going with the same vibe. This is a Paris Fashion Week street style photo and i am going to recreate the girl on the right because i feel like it's more attainable for me it's also pretty simple but let's just try it out see how it goes here's outfit number four obviously in the photo she's wearing an oversized blazer dress i don't have that so i paired this oversized blazer with a little pleated mini skirt if i'm being practical I know that I don't wear tights that often. I think they're cute, but it's just like not super realistic for me. Like I just wouldn't think to put on tights. So I just opted for a cute pair of ruffled socks with my loafers. Oh, I only have one pocket. What? I think this is cute though. I also have a red pleated mini skirt and a plain black oversized blazer. So I could see myself doing that as well and having two variations of like the same outfit just in different colors i think it's cute though i feel cute i feel like madeline once again let's do one more outfit and for this one i'm gonna do kind of like an athletic inspired outfit because to be honest i am wearing athleisure most of the time not proud to say but like when you're not really doing anything why get dressed like i'm not gonna put on this outfit to edit a video you know okay so i'm gonna recreate this outfit with the black puffer. It looks like a gray sweater underneath. I can't tell if these are black trousers or if they're like more of an athletic yoga pant, but it doesn't really matter. And then a pop of color in the beanie. For the fifth and final outfit, we've got a pretty slouchy, oversized, kind of more athletic look, I think. This is definitely something that I'm going to be wearing to take Juniper on walks, to go to the grocery store maybe to go to a coffee shop, like honestly, anything. This is more so the style that I actually dress in on a daily basis. Like I love getting dressed up, but I don't do it too often. I feel like myself in this, I feel like I'm ready to like shoot some hoops. I've never played basketball in my life. This just feels like a very cozy and familiar outfit. To conclude this video, I think that Everyone should do this if you're into fashion and you want to reimagine your clothes. I think it's actually a very useful tool when planning what outfits you're gonna wear because at least for me, I get caught in the cycle of looking at Pinterest and like loving these outfits and pinning them, but then being like, well, I don't have that exact piece of clothing, so I'm not gonna wear it. When instead of that, you could kind of lose the perfectionist mindset and do the best you can, try on the outfits and see what comes of it. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Thanks for watching this video. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. And if you wanna see more videos like this, leave a little comment. Tell me which outfit was your favorite and which ones you would probably wear and which ones you maybe wouldn't. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.